Bible says, Hear a just cause, O Lord. Attend to my cry. Let my vindication come from your presence. And let your eyes look upon the things that are upright. Oh, you have tested my heart. You have visited me in the night. You have tried me, and you have found nothing. I have purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the word of your mouth, I have kept away from the paths of the destroyer. Uphold me in your steps, that my footsteps may not slip. I have called to you, O Lord, and you answered me. Oh, incline your ear to me and hear my speech. Show me your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand. O oh, you who save those who trust in you from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who oppress me. From my deadly enemies that surround me. Oh, they have closed up their fat hearts. They speak wickedly against you. They have now surrounded us in our steps. They have set their eyes and crouching down to the ground. Like a, like a, like a lion that is eager to tear its prey. Like a young lion, oh, lurking in the secret places. Oh, deliver my life from the wicked by your sword. From men, oh Lord, oh, with your hand. From men of the world who have their portion in this life, whom you've put filled with your hidden treasures, who are satisfied with children and leave the rest to their babes. But as for me, I will see your face in glory. I will be satisfied when I awaken in your likeness. I will see the glory of God. I will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Oh, uh, yes, I cried out to the Lord, so shall I be saved from my enemies, from the rock of my refuge. Oh, with the saving arm, your, the, with your right arm of your saving strength, oh, Lord, you reached down. Oh, yeah, you reached down to the grave. Oh, the pangs of death surrounded me. The pangs of Sheol made me afraid. Oh, the floods of ungodliness surrounded me. Oh, I cried to the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me out of all my troubles. This poor man cried out to God, and he delivered me from all my fears. Blessed is the man who fears God. Oh, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall lack no good thing. Oh, I tell you what, I tell you what, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Oh, he guards all their bones. None of them shall be broken. Oh, but evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. Oh, but the Lord surrounds the Lord. He saves his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. No one who trusts in God shall be condemned. Nobody who puts their trust in the Almighty shall be let down. Oh, for he fulfills all his word, all his counsel. Everything the Lord does is true. His work is done in truth. All his work is done in righteousness. He loves righteousness and he hates wickedness. Oh, God said to my God, sit at my right hand till your enemies be made your footstool. I say, Lord God, let your enemies submit yourselves to you. Tell your enemies submit themselves with gold and the people with yellow silver. Oh, oh the Lord gave the word and great was the company of those who proclaimed it. The kings of the armies flee. Yes, they flee away. And she who divide, stays at home divides the spoils, though you be small among the sheepfold. Though you be small among the sheepfold, you will be covered in the, in the wings of yellow gold. You will be covered like David. David was small among the people, but yet he slew Goliath. Oh, who is that enemy of God? Who is the enemy of God? Who is this man who hides counsel without knowledge? Oh, don't you see? The whole duty of man. Oh, the preacher sought to find wisdom. He looked for acceptable words, and what was found was acceptable words of truth. Oh, in the making of many books there is no end. Oh, for much, for, for, for much study is wearisome to the flesh. Let us therefore hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Oh, fear God and do his commandments, for God shall bring into work every judgment, whether it be evil, whether it be good. Oh, oh he will bring it into judgment. Oh, and God's going to cast upon them the fury of his wrath. God, it says the rocks are thrown down by him. Oh, he rebukes the sea and makes it dry. When he rebuked, the foundations of the sea were seen. The foundations of the river were exposed at the blast of the breath of his nostrils. At the blast of the breath of his nostrils. Oh, oh yes, he took me and drew me out of many waters. I cried to the Lord and my cry came unto his ears and he saved me. 
He saved me because he delighted in me. He rewarded me according to the cleanness of my hands, according to the innocence, because I have not wickedly departed from the Lord. I have kept all his ways. I have kept myself from my iniquity. Oh, I did not cast his words behind me. Oh, no. No. Oh, oh, I did not turn back till my enemies were defeated. They were beaten as fine as dust. Oh, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Oh, 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 because the Lord is a shield to the self, to those who, are, who trust in him. He is a shield to those who trust in him. The Bible says, do not add to the word of the Lord. No, no, lest he rebuke you and you be found a liar. No, oh, don't you see that the Bible says, whoever adds to the words of this book, to him will be added, oh, will be added all the plagues that are written in it. Oh, to he who takes away from the words of this book, to him, his portion of the book of life will be taken away from him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no want of those who fear him. Envy not thou sinners. No, he'll be zealous for the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there's a hereafter, and your hope will not be cut off. Oh, oh, I tell you, people say, people say that it's not coming. People say that God is not going to awake out of his sleep. Oh, but he says he'll awake just like a drunken man awakes. And he's going to despise their image. He's going to set them on slippery slopes. He's going to see to their end. This is the children in whom there is no faith. No, but the Bible says this, David, the son of the, 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 the rock of Israel, the great psalmist of Israel, he said, he who rules over men must be just, ruling in the fear of the Lord. He... He will be like a, a day without clouds when the sun rises. He'll be like the clear shine of the rain. Clear shine of the sun after the rain. Oh, oh, he said, even though my house is not so, he made with me an everlasting covenant, ordered in all things and secured. Will God not make it increase? Will God not make it increase? He made with me a covenant through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, born of the scene of David. Oh, yes, according to the flesh, but declared to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness. The spirit of holiness. Oh, it says in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 11, it says, oh, there'll come one from the rod, from the rod of Jesse, the stand of Jesse. It says he, it says he will be in the spirit of the mighty God, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, spirit of knowledge, oh, and the spirit of God, and the spirit of the fear of the Lord, and his, his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. Oh, who is the man? Who is the man who made not God his strength? Who is the man who made not God his strength? But trusted in his own riches. But trusted in his own riches. And strengthened himself in his own wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree. Born in the house of God. For I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. Oh, for you will show me the path of life. Oh, I will wait on your name in the presence of all the saints, for it is good. It is good. It is good to wait on God. It is good to sing, to give thanks to God, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, on the lute and on the harp, with all melodio, melodious, melodious sounds. Oh, oh, I will declare the triumph in the works of your hands. Oh, a senseless man does not know, nor does a fool understand this, that when the wicked spring up like the grass, and all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. But you are ruler on high forever. Oh, your enemies, O oh Lord, behold your enemies. They have perished. They have perished. But you, O oh Lord, you have exalted my horn with honor. My eyes shall see my desire upon my enemies. My ears shall hear of my desire upon the wicked who rise against me. Oh, those who pray are praying in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Oh, they will be fresh and flourishing. Oh, they will still bear fruit in their old age. Oh, it says to declare that the Lord is upright. Yes, they all the righteous in will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. And all the upright in heart shall glory. They will glory in him. Oh, but woe to those who glory in their shame. The people are glorying in their shame. They're glorying in the things of men esteem. What are you glorying in? What are you doing? You got vapor, you got cigarettes, you got masturbation. But you don't have holiness. Without holiness, no one's going to see the Lord. Beware, the Bible says, looking carefully, lest there be, lest you fall short of the grace of God, lest there be any root of bitterness, it says, by which it springs up, by which many become defiled. Oh, lest there be any fornicator or unclean person among you, unprofane person like Esau, who for one morsel of bread he sold his birthright. For afterwards, when he wanted to inherit, 
the, the inheritance that says he was rejected. He was rejected. He could not find repentance, though he sought it diligently with tears. Oh, for you have not come to the mountain that can be touched, and that burn with fire, and to blackness and darkness and tempest. No, you've come to the city of the living God, to the new Jerusalem, to the innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn whose names are registered in heaven. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, to Jesus Christ, the, the minister of the new covenant, to God the Father, the, to the judge of all, to the spirits of just men made perfect. Oh, for once more, says the Lord, I will shake everything that can be shaken, and only that which cannot be shaken will remain. Only that which cannot be shaken will remain. What does it mean? What does it mean that everything that can be shaken, and only that which cannot be shaken shall remain? What, what does it mean? Oh, oh, the Bible says, since we are receiving the kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us have grace that we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. Our God is a consuming fire. Oh, oh but Jesus Christ purifies. Jesus Christ purifies by his word, by his fire. The fire of his jealousy. God is jealous. Behold, the Lord avenges. God is jealous. Behold, the Lord is vengeance. He takes vengeance on his enemies. He reserves wrath for his enemies, for the wicked. Well, Jesus, why aren't you obeying him? Obey. You're not obeying. You shouldn't be doing vapor. You can't live in sin and obey Jesus. And you just took his name in vain. I took his in vain, but I love Jesus. No. Jesus said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Jesus drank wine. Jesus was not a drunkard. Jesus drank wine. Jesus was not a drunkard. No, but he drank wine. Jesus said, to come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest for your souls. Rest for your souls. Do you give me rest? Oh, Jesus Christ has given me rest and peace. But Jesus said, I did not come to bring peace. I came to bring a sword. I came to bring a sword to set a man, to set a man against his father, to set a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, a man's enemies and that of his own household. Jesus said, I came to bring peace, but not as the world gives, not as the world gives peace. No, but my peace I leave to you, my peace I give to you. Therefore, do not be afraid and let your heart be troubled. Jesus said, you say rightly that I am the king for this cause I was born. All those who are of the truth, they shall hear my voice. For those who are of the truth, they will not follow another. They will not follow another. No, do you understand? When you know, you hear the, the bride, they hear the voice of the bridegroom. It says, it says the, the, bride, the, the bride hears the voice of the bridegroom and it says that he rejoices. I must decrease and he must increase. Jesus Christ is lifted up. Jesus Christ is exalted. Jesus Christ is mighty. Oh, the Lord God omnipotent reigns. The Lord sat enthroned in the praises of Israel. The Lord sat over the throne of the flood when it was flooding and the world was being destroyed. He sat on his throne, fully secure in his judgment, fully secure in his final decision, fully secure that what he did was right. Fully secure that what he did was true. Fully secure that what he did was merciful. He saved Noah, one of eight people, a preacher of righteousness. Bringing in the flood on the world of the ungodly. By which he condemned the world that then existed. But the world now, it says, that is, that is, reserved, that is preserved by the same word. as It says, reserved for fire and the perdition of ungodly men until the day of judgment. Until the day of judgment, this world. This world is preserved by the same word. The same word that destroyed the days of Noah and flooded the days of Noah now preserves this land. Preserves this place for destruction, for the perdition of ungodly men, oh, sensual men, evil men, wicked men, men who have their portion in this life, people who don't, don't regard the work of God, people who do not regard the work of God. How have I judged you? I quoted you a bunch of Bible passages. How have I judged you? The Bible says, if you would judge yourself, if you would judge yourself, you would not be judged of the Lord. You're not judging yourself. If you would judge yourself, then you would not be judged of the Lord. Therefore, the God, it says, he chastens you that you would not be destroyed with the wicked, the Bible says. This is a righteous judgment. I give you a righteous judgment. I tell you about Jesus. But you're not Jesus. I'm sent in his stead. I stand in Christ's stead. He sent me here. Jesus still loves me. Jesus put his word in me. He does love you, but he hates all workers of iniquity, the Bible says. Jesus loves me. He hates all workers of iniquity, too. So we got a problem. Boy, there's a problem. Jesus loves God's going to make a decision in the end who gets into heaven and hell. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 18, verse 18, it says, The fruit that your soul longed for is gone from you. The fruit that your soul longed for has gone from you. That's what Revelation 18 says. All the things that are written. You know, I heard a, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell a testimony here. I, I heard two guys walking by earlier and they said, you know what? Here are the Christians out here preaching. It, 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 it figures after I just got, we just got laid last night. That's what they said. Figures that God would send a couple preachers out here after we just got laid last night. All right, because they recognize 
They recognize the seriousness of their sin. Folks, I recognize the seriousness of your sin.